Hey bull babes, welcome back to my channel. I am Holly and I'm so glad you are here today. If this is your first video, then welcome and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any of this goodness. And if you are coming back here, then welcome back my friend. I'm so happy you're here. I know that came out a little bit overbearing and creepy, so I'm sorry. Um, I am really excited about today's video because we are gonna talk about brushes. Like I'm like acting gangster. <laughs> so not gangster. I am way too white for that. Honestly. Um, today we are talking about mascara brushes. Um, but even if you haven't gotten mascara yet, this is still kind of a good like makeup brush demo for you. I'm going to be going over kind of what they do, what my favorites are, which ones you should have in your collection. And if you have been looking into mascara, first of all, email me for a color match so we can get you your perfect colors for flawless makeup. I don't know why I keep <laughs> I gotta cool it with the hands. Just put them behind the back. Um, I can't help it, I gotta. <laughs> anyway, um, email me for a color match and then um, watch this video so you can kind of decide which, um, which of the mascara brushes you should buy, if any of them, if you need any of them. So let's just get right into it. So first of all, <laughs> these are all the brushes we have. Um, and it may not seem like a lot, or maybe to you it does seem like a lot. I don't know. I don't know what, what kind of person you are, but to me it kind of seems like a lot because I'm pretty minimal, but um, this is our beautiful brush collection. It's all metal, so it's like rose gold and gold, and they're all double-sided, and they fly off when you want them to. Just kidding. Um, double-sided, so super nice for like um, versatility and just cleaning out that makeup drawer. Just double-sided is the way to go. I think. And you save money because you get two brushes in one. So first brush we're going to talk about is the OG, the original gangster brush, the 30 second hack brush. Hack stands for highlight and contour if you didn't know that. Um, and I love this brush. I do. I mean, I've moved on from it and I don't use it as much because there's another one I'll show you that I love more, but this is still an awesome brush. So um, again, double sided. Typically people use this side for their foundation, so mascara is cream foundation if you didn't know that. So that's why I really recommend getting a brush. It's not that I'm trying to upsell you, I promise. It's just that these brushes are made for this makeup. They're made to work with the cream makeup so it goes on smooth and flawless and you can do it super fast with this brush. Um, and then usually this side's used for the contour. Um, so it's just stiff enough that it puts it on really good, but I love that it's that fluffy because then I just sit there and do this and then I blend it out like that. Um, so I don't even really use like a beauty blender anymore. I just blend with my brush as I go. It's awesome. Um, and also with this brush, if this is the only brush you can get, okay, like you're on a budget or you're just super minimal, then you can also use this side for your blush. Yeah. So do your contour and then maybe wipe it off really quick or something, or if you don't care, um, then put your blush on with it. And it's just fluffy enough that it does really good with that. Um, so really awesome brush. Second one, this is the one I kind of use more and more so now. This is the detail hack brush. And as you can see, it's a little bit like slimmer profile. It's just like this little skinny guy. And the reason I like this is because I have a thin face. So I love this one more because, um, well, I use this for my foundation now because I just like the shape of it and I just feel like it gets into my face shape a lot better and I feel like it doesn't get as much product into the brush as a 30 second hack brush. And so I feel like I'm not wasting as much because um, it's not as um, it's not as dense. So the makeup doesn't like sink in. And then this side is really awesome for like detailed contouring. So if you just want like small little lines, again, if like you have kind of more of a narrow face and you don't want a lot of contour, um, then this brush is perfect for that. It's also good for nose contour. That's how I did my nose contour today. Um, and it's also good for like spot concealing too. So if you just have like little blemishes, you just kind of want to cover up. This brush is really good for that too. And then this is the powder power brush. So you're probably thinking powder. I thought you were cream. Yeah, we are. But this, um, is for the setting powder that we have, which is good so good especially for you oily girls that need to set with a powder we have a translucent powder for you and this brush is perfect for putting that on so it's got a couple different shapes so this side is good for like patting under the eyes and just generally wherever and then this rounded side um it's just good for wherever 
<laughs> I don't use powder, so I, use, I honestly don't use this brush very much, but I did go on a kick for like a couple months using this for my foundation. Yeah, and it actually works amazing. So I use this side to put on my normal cream foundation with mascara, and then this side I used my blush. Because for a while I only had um, these two brushes for a long time, and so I was like, I gotta switch things up. So yeah, I use this one, and it works great. I love it. So again, if you're on a budget, minimal, you can get this brush and it can still do it all. It can do your cream mascara and even your contour, just kind of flip it to the side a little bit. It can do your blush and wash it off and then you can set it with your powder too. So there you go. And then, what should I show next? This baby. This is the eyeshadow everything brush because literally it does everything. For all my eye looks you see in my videos, in my selfies, whatever, um, I get compliment Complicated. I get complimented on my eyes a lot, which I think is so nice because I don't know what I'm doing. But um, I only use this brush all the time, ever. That's it. One brush for all the looks. And it's just amazing. And I feel like I'm not really that good at eyeshadow, but this brush makes me good. It's just, mm, it blends so nice. This is like the fluffy all over blending side. And this is like the smudger, detailed, whatever you need. Love this brush. Um, and again, multi-use, if you want to use this side, you can use it if, again for like spot concealing if you want. Um, I usually just use it for eyes and then I just like throw it in, be weird. Next brush, um, this is the multitasker brush and literally they couldn't have named it perfect. Like I, I feel like I could name 10 uses for this brush. Should I try? Okay, let's do this. One, this little side. This, again, perfect for spot concealing. This, this is actually the brush I use when I need to do that. So I do my all over foundation and then I go back in with this one and I just press in the product, just tap it into the blemishes and then um, with my cream and then I set with the powder. So that's what I use that for. So that's one. Two, um, I use it for eyeliner a lot. So I just use like my eyeshadow or else like a contour, like a darker contour and I do my eyeliner with it. Perfect. Number three, lip liner. For real. I use this for my lip liner all the time. So just line it with like contour if you want to like beef them up a little bit or else just like a darker lip color for like a dramatic lip. Um, so good. So that's two, right? Was that two or three? I think that was two. Um, three. And again, this is what I used it for for a long, long time. So I had these. No had these two brushes for the longest time and then added in this one and then I used it for my brows. Yep, you can fill in your brows with it. It works perfect. Um, for, what else can this guy do? Uh, gonna move on. This side, I put my lipstick on with this guy. Um, it's a perfect little shape. It gets it really even so it's not messy all over my fingers and I can stay in the lines really well. So good for lips. Um, other thing this one does is it can do eyeshadow. Um, I used it for eyeshadow a little bit here and there. It's not the best because it's not made for it, but in a pinch, it works great. Um, nose contour. This is even a better nose contour than the um, this brush because it's smaller, so you can really make those fine lines to make your nose narrow with that. Um, gosh, see now I'm on the spot and I'm forgetting things. I know there's more. That might be all. Okay, so maybe five things, but still pretty good. Um, next thing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you guys, my husband just walked in. He's been out of town for two days. Scared the bejesus out of me. Is that a word? I just made it up because I'm so scared. Can I kiss you on camera? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm getting all red. I'm so embarrassed. Okay. I'm ruining your video, sorry. Anyway, um, so this is the brow brush. Um, and it's, yeah, it's for brows, obviously. Um, so I like it because I feel like I can really create those natural like hair strokes and like tilt it to the side and create that really good end spot in the brows. Um, and then I love that it has this cause then I can kind of do that little fray in the ends. So it just kind of makes the brow more natural looking and just grooms your, your hairs. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of other uses for this brush gotta be honest but it's um it's a really good brush if you want really awesome brows in a pinch like it takes two minutes to do it with this brush um last brush is the um bronzer the b b2 squared 
I think that they changed the name of it. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is an awesome brush too. I keep saying awesome brush over and over again. They're just awesome, okay? Um, but yeah, so blush, whatever, blush, bronzer, whatever. I use them simultaneously for whatever I need. I honestly don't use this brush a ton. I don't know. I just, I feel like it's just easier to use one of these other ones for my blush as I'm using it as it's in my hand already, or else I just use my fingers a lot. Since it's a cream blush, I just dab it on with my finger, blend it with a brush or blend it with a beauty blender, whatever. Um, it's just easy, but it's so soft. And it really is awesome for you bronzer girls that love doing bronzer over your makeup. Um, this is an awesome one to apply that with really even and smooth. So there we have it. Um, these brushes can be purchased through the link in the description box and they do come all together in a collection that saves you, um, I don't know the exact amount, but it makes them out to be like $23 a piece. So the collection's $166 for super high quality double-sided brushes. That's a pretty good deal. Or you can buy them individually too. Um, Cause that's what I did. I just slowly bought each one as I had the money and that's totally fine. Last thing, um, I'm gonna talk about the brush cleaner just really quick. I know, I'm just gonna dive in. So this is the Restore um, brush cleaner from Mascara and this bottle's almost gone, but I've had it for like six months, maybe more. So it lasts forever. So it comes out to like $4 a month to keep your brushes clean and sanitized and um, conditioned. <laughs> Forgot the last thing. So it's like an all-in-one product. It's all you need um, and it smells really, really good. Um, I purposely left one of my brushes dirty because I wanted to show you how amazing this is. You ready for this? Okay, I'm just gonna, like we're burping a baby here on my gross makeup towel. So, <laughs> I don't normally do this, okay? You guys are special. So we, um, I just do like, I don't know, two or three sprays. So I have to do a lot on this one because it's like a foundation brush. There's always a lot more makeup on that. And then I just swirl it around, watch it come out. It's kind of addicting. It's kind of, kind of soothing to get it all out. And just rub, 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 rub. See how clean already it is? Um, so my other brushes, I usually have to do like one or two sprays and like a swipe and it's usually gone. But again, the foundation takes a little more time because there's just more product on it. But still, in a matter of like 30 seconds, you have a clean brush. And again, it's sanitized. So all those bacteria, all those bacterias, bacteria, bacteria are gone um, and it's instantly dry. That's probably my favorite, favorite part is that I can clean all my brushes, this whole collection of brushes in, um, I don't know, like a minute or two and they're instantly dry. I can use them again. So if I forget to do it the night before, I can wash them all and then right then do my makeup because they're already dry. Um, so I don't know. I love it. I think it's worth the money, but so that is it, um, for mascara brushes. If you need more details on like which one you should get for your face shape or whatever, um, just email me. I'll totally help you. It's not a big deal. Um, and I hope that this helped and <laughs> thanks for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time.